Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. So a warm welcome from me, Leti Janse van Furen, to the ninth, the ninth webinar in our popular webinar series. Today, as you can see at the bottom, we will be dealing with security safeguards. Right. We're going to look at, oops, that's a bit of a very skew line. I said the other day as well, apparently, if you can draw a straight line, you are crazy. Same as if you can draw a perfect circle. People, people say that only crazy people can do that. And I managed to draw very straight lines at, at certain times. So we all knew that I was a little bit nutty beforehand, but now we have confirmation. All right. So today's webinar is all about security risks and the safeguards um, that, that go along with that. Right. It is vital. It is probably the biggest thing for your organization from a practical perspective that you need to ensure because securing the data, ensuring data security, that is key in terms of Popia. All right. So let's just go through our webinar slides. Right. That's my marketing blurb all about me. Let's just have a look at what's on the agenda for today. If we look at the contents, we'll be dealing with uh, just a quick recap on where did we end with the previous webinar, just because it's a series. So there is a logical, um, natural progression to the contents. So we ended off last time. Where did we end off? Then today we'll be focusing on common security risks, which is going to be the majority of what you need to be focused on. Then we're going to look at some case studies. We're going to look at best practice recommendations. And then we're going to look at some compliance safeguards. Right in order to be able to prove compliance, what could you have implemented at your offices or at your organizations? All right. So that's our content for today. These are little quotes I found online for you. The first one is by Victoria Ivy, and she said, every time you indulge into any sort of online activity, your data can be easily monitored and checked. And we know that. We saw that with the breaches that were in the news lately. Right. So just we just need to be so much more aware of the doors that we are opening and who we are allowing into our space uh, or access into it. Right. It says there on the little the one with the little key, it says they want what you've got. Don't give it to them. Right. Your information that you've got, believe it or not, information is 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 gold. Personal information is key. All right. So in order to do to worry about what you what you've got and how to fix it, we need to worry mostly about security, the security ones in terms of access, passwords, all sorts of monitoring and data and whatnot, and then implementing the necessary safeguards. Right. That is going to be because we are privy to personal information in terms of Popia, that's going to be key. Let's just just quickly recap on where we ended off last time. We focused last time on the last four conditions of Popia. Right. Okay, that's not the straightest of lines. They, it's a little bit better. Okay, the last four conditions of Popia, and they are information quality, openness, security safeguards, and data subject participation. And you'll see that security safeguards is a condition of Popia. And because of that, it's so important that it warrants a completely separate webinar all on its own today. So this is obviously where a lot of practical uh, requirements might come in and implementation that you might not be able to implement yourself. You can't, you can't safeguard everything all on your own. So you might need IT specialists to help you, an IT department or whatnot. Um, you will, you will uh, gain access to our popular consultants today. All right. So we also looked at some common challenges and then once again, the compliance solutions of that. So let's have a look at the, the conditions, right? We've, we've done the conditions. We've, the main thing is everything that you do, you must be able to prove that you comply with the, for the eight conditions of Popia. So if you get, go and have a look at the previous webinar seven and webinar eight, that's where we dealt with the first four and the last four conditions of Popia. Today, however, we are all about security, data security risks, security safeguards for compliance. All right. 
If you just have a look at the three picks I've got at the bottom, we've got data security, compliance, and safeguards. So those are the, the main problems that we that we do that. Okay. Uh, just, sorry, just a quick question from Chantal. When was part two of the eight conditions again? Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was... When was it? Let me just check quickly. Sorry, Chantal, because now my brain's all sort of mud. Let me just quickly go and see. Number eight was... I think on the 25th, on the 25th of, March. of February. Yes, on the 25th of Feb, we had part two. Right, the recording will be available in case you missed it, so you can always just go and access that as well. Okay. Then, we, like I said, we're going to be dealing with the data security risks and everything. I'm going to just quickly check that our presenters are up and ready. I see our guest presenter just needs to be made a presenter. Jeremiah, if you can hear me, please just make Karabu a presenter so that she can go in and um, take on the presentation. All right. So for today, you'll see that we've got our two guest presenters from Montana Data Company. They are Karabu Leklaku and Stefani Galdenais, or Steph as we call her. So Karabu and Steph, those are the two ladies. I call them the popular experts. And uh, what did Karabu say last time? She doesn't want to be called an expert. She's a, a specialist. All right. I think that's what you said last time, Karabu. Okay. So that's it. Okay. She says yes, I should do that. Okay. Still just waiting to make her presenter. Let me see if I can do that from my side. Ha, I'm learning so much today just by clicking on the right buttons, eh? Like I always say, if you don't know how to use software, read your screen. All right, Karabo, you are online, yes? Yes, I am. Thank okay. you very much. I was panicking there for a second. Thanks. Okay, no problem. I'm going to hand over. Enjoy your guest presentation, guys. Enjoy listening to Karabo and Steph. Take it away, ladies. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Letty, for the wonderful introduction, as usual. Um, just for clarity, we decided to focus, hone in on this on this particular condition, although we had touched on, on all eight in the past sessions, primarily because this is the meat of the act. This is the meat of the operational aspect where it involves you as the business owner or the CEO or what the regulator would call you, the information officer. So what we're going to do today is we know that um, um, the, the, the currently available information on the security safeguards is heavily on, on the technical aspect. So yes, we will touch on that as well because a lot of us are have our information digitized, but we'll also hone in on what the regulator or the act calls your organizational or your operational security safeguards. And we'll highlight certain uh, key areas that we have found uh, are, are like almost potholes or, or gaps in, in, in securing your information in those particular particular areas okay so a little bit of a a, 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 a a humorous aspect here it says this cartoon strip says that uh, that's our cio the chief information officer he's encrypted for security purposes and uh, I, I found that quite humorous because a lot of our security gaps is actually not the systems in place but the human error aspect so a lot of information is sitting with your chief information officer or your IT service provider that you are not even aware of, you know, and we trust them like our doctors, as we should, which is perfectly fine. But because they know so much and they're so involved in, uh, in the back end of our information, um, they are also considered a security risk that we need to mitigate or try and find ways to to. Uh, limit the, the exposure of risk with them. Okay, so I'm going to be touching a lot on the human error aspect of, of um, breach in, in, in terms of data privacy compliance. 
Okay. Let's see, if I still remember this, I'm gonna, this is my face. I'm gonna skip this. I think a lot of you have already known us. I'm gonna wait for the slide to come up. But just to give a background, again, my name is Karabo Letlaku. I'm with Montana Data Company. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.